Hello and welcome family to another episode of Dr. Mumbi's spiritual show and one of the first episodes of Dr. Mumbi show, the podcast edition. Definitely check it out. The links are down below. Be sure to follow because we're exploring um, new avenues and ways and means to awaken our people, to bring us together and to kind of explore, um, you know, different angles, go deeper into topics and issues about our spiritual about our ancient wisdom, about our ancient magic, if you want to call that, and many, many other things. So we're so excited to be launching that platform. We really want to thank every single person that has supported us on Patreon and sent us a love donation since, you know, our little incident with YouTube. Since this is also a podcast, I'm not going to go into that too deeply, but um, definitely consider supporting us family uh, on Patreon or through a love donation so that we can establish these new avenues of communication with our people and check out our podcasts. Apart from the Dr. Mumbi Show podcast edition, we do have Wake Up Africa, which is purely a news channel. Family, you know, life is about perspective. And I'm literally just coming on here to give you a word of encouragement to, um, you know, to urge you to keep your head up because we are in the best of times and we are in the worst of times and it all depends on your perspective. You know, a week or so ago, life was good. I was continuing with the building of my off-grid home and everything was just in balance. But I was literally doing the bare minimum in my journey and as fate would have it youtube demonetized me uh for some shows that i shared about the pope coming you know encouraging people to pray against the pope visiting africa and all these other things and kind of showing what was happening in mali and when that happened when youtube demonetized me I noticed that my reaction was different because YouTube does this to, you know, revolutionary voices literally every year. And I noticed my reaction was different. I didn't really panic or cry or lose it as I had before. But I just, I felt like I have shifted into a new perspective. And that's why I say perspective is everything. And people say that all the time and I never overstood it. But I've shifted into a new perspective where I, I don't believe anymore. But I know that every single situation is working for my good. I know that no weapon fashioned against me by the enemy will take me off my throne, will take me off my place of comfort. Uh, I am absolutely sure that I am walking in grace and I am walking into prosperity and abundance. And I am totally covered and protected and being guided by a higher spiritual force. And so when that happened, I started to just ask myself, why? Why has this happened? Why did my astral or my psychic and mental protection allow this, this blow to come through? And that kind of shifted my whole experience and it's taken me on a whole new journey of podcasting. Because I think family, you know, we are habitual creatures and that is one of the ways that Babylon always gets us is because we're creatures of habit, they get us into this comfortable stage where, you know, it's also like a form of imprisonment where you kind of have everything that you need. There's things you want, there's things you could aspire for, but, you know, you're comfortable. You've, you've, got, your, you've got your house, you've got your food, you've got your money coming in, you're able to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, um, and you're kind of pushing your dreams. So, and so we get comfortable in that instead of wanting to pursue or exploit our maximum potential. And so I really believe that when something comes, to shake up your life it's not a, it's no longer about you know why did the enemy do that the enemy managed to get a blow in I mean because the enemy of our soul he's not he's not sleeping he's not resting he is still going hard but we are under a new dispensation which means the weapons that he used to use upon us now um, before don't work now 
It's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different set of rules, spiritual rules, psychic rules. And so those things don't work anymore. And what we're dealing with as highly evolved spiritual beings or as chosen ones, as ones who have awakened and are awakening, is the residue of our habitual thinking, the residue of our habits, you know, as creatures of habits, and how we can feel that we're going into old narratives and old stories lines when certain things happen but it's actually not the same thing you see in was it 20 when did when did george floyd pass on was it 2020 or 2021 that was the last time that youtube kind of um froze our channels and did this and did that and we were actually and in that time we we hadn't been we weren't ready spiritually and i think we weren't as strong as we were we are now and so that shook our world. And, you know, there was a lot of energy that went into, you know, creating the second channel, the Dr. Mumbi spiritual show, and kind of going in this spiritual direction. So, but it, it took a toll on me. But what I've recognized this time around is I'm more calm in the storm. And I think that's something. And the reason I'm sharing my story, family, is because I really believe that a lot of us are kind of going through these storms in our own lives and they'll hit us where we're most vulnerable or where we haven't been paying attention, where we've gotten comfortable, whether we've gotten comfortable with our careers, whether we've gotten comfortable with our relationships, whether we've gotten comfortable with, um, you know, our spirituality and our kind of our spiritual practices, whatever we've gotten comfortable and hence almost lazy and habitual with is what we're going to start seeing a shaking in so that we can continue in this ascension journey because we're never stagnant. We never reach the destination family. This life truly is a journey and it's a journey from one level of thinking to another level of thinking, from one narrative to another narrative. And within each narrative, we find um, a whole new version of ourselves and a whole new version of reality that we have to learn to interact with because that older reality is also always trying to peek through because we have energetic links to that. So uh, it's to just, you know, so this message basically is to encourage you family that there will be storms. The storms aren't over, but you are a different person now in the storm. You are the storm to a certain extent. You are above the storm on another level. And so it's to recognize that whenever any shaking comes in your life in this season, to just keep your head up and know that nothing can trap you. Nothing can derail you. Nothing can bring you down. But you have to stand firm in your narrative, which is why I'm always talking about family Get your narrative on your own terms. Have your storyline on your vibe, in your, you know, have your own story. Be living in that own story, which means you're the architect of everything in that story. You're making your food, you're producing um, things that, that to, help, to help support you. You're living literally in your own life the way you would always dream and want to live or the way that the ancestors are pushing you to live. Anyway, let's take a short break. We'll be right back. Wake up, Africa. Welcome back, family, to another Dr. Mumbi spiritual show. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. Special shout out to everyone that has supported us on Patreon, family, for years, and all our new supporters as well. We appreciate love you so much. Just to even know that you know you're, we're energetically connected like that, and you value what we're bringing forth is such um, you know is such an encouragement. And I'm telling you, that is what has kept us on solid ground. For for so long so I'll never get tired of bigging up our Patreon family and of course everyone who donates to us um, we have people who donate to us every single month and that has been more of you know um, what we lean on that's been our backbone and not so much these you know the YouTubes of this world uh, so family I've been sharing my story today about how perspective is everything and perspective is king and there may be a storm that you are currently in in your life or a storm that you feel brewing in your life. The storm may catch you by surprise, like I was caught by surprise. 
although I could feel something was coming, but I didn't know it would come in that way. Um, you know, and it's also, there's so much like energy exchange right now, family. So just know that, you know, we're reaping what we sow extremely fast. And so if you send out any kind of dart to the enemy, just know that the enemy will try and boomerang that back to you. And so if you have any b vulnerable point, there will be a shaking, but you have security. You have the tightest security and the only reason any kind of attack or, um, you know, shaking is being allowed into your life, into your narrative, is to shift you into a higher perspective, to set you free of some dead weight and of some habitual ways of thinking, of being, of moving, family. That's all it is. And so I would say in the storms that may, you know, that may appear in your life, don't fear, don't panic, don't go back into the way you used to deal with it but try dealing with it in a new way try approaching it from a new angle of okay spiritual team most high creator great mothers great fathers why has this happened what is the purpose of this trial where is this supposed to be shifting me to because you see family um, I've been meaning to start podcasts. I've been wanting to do a podcast since, I think it almost like since two years ago, but at the beginning of the year, I was really, really serious about it. But two years ago, someone actually brought me all the podcast equipment from the divided States. And I was on a mission to start the podcasting, but then I kind of got, um, you know, then the pandem pandemic happened and everything, and I kind of got into this whole vibe of building my off-grid home, um, starting to grow my own food, investing in land. So that took so much of my energy, and it's taken almost two years, family, for me to kind of get that to a point of almost, we're almost completing um, the building now, which is awesome. Although it has a shrine vibes, I'll talk about that in a future episode and how I might actually convert it into um, a shrine for people who are visiting Kenya. I'll talk about that definitely in a future episode. But family, that was my intention then and I totally forgot about it. I totally forgot about it as I was carried into this project. But since this happened with YouTube, I have now created a podcast because it's it's been a wake up call to the fact that, you know, we are fighting a narrative war and we need to get our voices out there. I actually didn't know that there was a massive podcasting community in Kenya, in Africa, which is absolutely awesome. And across the diaspora family, if you know any um, podcasts that are just for our people, please leave the links down below and be sure to check out our news podcast, Wake Up Africa with Dr. Mumbi Saraki and our uh, spiritual podcast, Dr. Mumbi Show podcast edition. The links are also uh, down below family. And so here we are on this new journey where we can, we have a, an opportunity to expand the kind of information that we're sharing with our audience. And we have an opportunity to expand our programming and to move in a new direction and not kind of to be stagnant where we were. Because I think with the energy that I was using to create the YouTube shows, I kind of got stagnant in a certain cycle of waking up, you know, researching, publishing, producing the show, going to the farm, coming back. And I, I kind of got comfortable in that. And we can't get comfortable in that. We have to be constantly moving from level to level because there is that kind of... Um, there's that grace in that season to be fast-tracked. And I don't know if you've heard of the term fast-tracked. Actually, I'll do a separate show on this, where in certain companies, when they see that you're particularly gifted and you have certain potential, they will fast-track you through the company. So you may start at the, you, from the bottom, you know, as an assistant, then they'll quickly make you a program officer, then they'll quickly put you through the management training program. And so you get fast tracked faster than maybe the culture of that organization. Maybe that could the culture of that organization, it takes someone maybe, you know, 10, 15 years to be kind of, you know, to move from a position as an as an entry level to a kind of management position. And you'll go through that maybe with even, you know, two to three years, two to five years. 
And so spiritually, there is the oppor opportunity for us to fast track our spiritual growth and accelerate to the highest the, you know, level of, our, of who we are. You see, because one thing we haven't been told is we have choices, especially once you awaken to who you are and you awaken to your library of life, which has many books of life, like the book that we've just closed out with Babylon. You have access to those different bo books of life, to the gifts, things that you had at that time. But you have to reach a certain level of refinement. And that is why the storm will come to kind of remind you, yo, don't get comfortable. There's still a lot to be done. There's still many things to do, um, and I really do feel that our spiritual teams are also um, shifting us into places of security, um, food security, material security, um, and many other things, so that when the greater global engineered storms come, they won't shake us as much. If you loved what we talked about, definitely comment down below if there's any angle you'd like us to go deeper on, and we will definitely be sure to be keeping on all of you in our prayers, we send you our great and best, best wishes, family, um, our highest level wishes, our highest level, you know, positive vibration that you can just, you know, um, pass through the storm as the new, more powerful, wiser, more enlightened being that you have become. Until next time, family. Tuko pamoja.